Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Yeah, my friends all drive Porsches and I must make amends. I've worked hard all my lifetime with no help from my friends. So, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Johannesburg, it's all about the streets. People are selling stuff on the streets. People are cooking on the streets. People are begging on the streets. People are looking for work on the streets. People are working on the streets. <laughs> What's that? In this video, we are gonna venture off from the upmarket suburbs through different neighborhoods to Joburg poor areas. We will have a closer look on people's everyday reality on the streets of South Africa. Frankly speaking, I still wonder how do they manage to keep up the spirit despite the harsh conditions. South Africa is the only country in the world that has three capitals. But the largest urban area in the country and the center of commerce, Johannesburg, is not one of them. But it is definitely a city of opportunities and disparities. Modernity contrasts social backwardness, huge mansions neighbor rundown shacks. The wealth gap in South Africa is extraordinary. When I did ask about the national cuisine here for the first time, the first answer I got it was a braai, which is the South African word for a barbecue. And in fairness, you have the braais here like everywhere, in Central Park, National Parks, private parks. Even I'm sitting on the braai and there is a sign. Please respect the braai area. And actually for the record, that's the first park I entered in Joburg. Uh, quite nice, quite wealthy area and quite safe. The view of the bin, it's really uplifting as littering is a very big problem in South Africa. Those houses up there are very expensive. Now I'm on the hill that I was showing you from the bottom from the park point. This one, it's an awesome property. Quite a posh place. Up there is CBD. Today, South Africa has the highest unemployment rate in the world at 35%, what gives us around 8 million jobless people. And those are only the official stats. In addition, the ranks of the unemployed are joined by hundreds of thousands of immigrants, mainly from Zimbabwe, who flock to South Africa in hopes of a better future. Yes? 
Yeah. Do the water move. <laughs> How many times do you see people in this great show? A hundred times in one day? Yeah. So you can do the water move? Yes. This guy. Despite the difficult situation in the country, that is manifested for instance by the presence of beggars at every major intersection, South Africans often smile and do not lose their cheerful attitude to life. For that, I have a lot of respect for them. Thank you. All right. All right. Three-quarters of South Africans earn below $340 per month, with only the top 4% of the adult population earning more than $2,800. To put it in the context, a state retirement pension offers a maximum $116 per month. In short, relying on the state is a big mistake. Therefore, people get creative and rely on themselves. So the guy said they are recycling. Good business today. Uh, yeah? <laughs> so you do it all by yourself. It's like handmade. Yeah, we are working as a group here. Yeah. I also do the plan. I make the tables, I make the chairs, I make the planting box, even the best bed. Uh, vanish, uh, it's 2000 and vanish, it's 1.5. Oh. Nowadays the business is slow. slow. It's, it's slow. slow. And uh, I don't have, a, it's only one month when I'm here. Yeah. One month you're here, like on this intersection? Yeah, just okay. only in this intersection. And when the last time did you sell like a chair or uh, uh, the box? Sometimes it was sell uh, about two sets and then uh, or if I sell some singles, uh, just mix the, you're gonna sell me seven singles or... In what period of time? It's gonna take time. Maybe we're gonna sell maybe after uh, two weeks uh, or after Monthly. So you say like single of those chairs per two weeks or a month even? Yes. And the, the double? The double is gonna actually is really hard because uh, as I said the business is low nowadays. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna sell maybe one a week or in two weeks. One in two weeks yes. or one a week? Yeah. How did you come up with the wood idea? Uh, you know I uh, just grew up in the as a, a see people working themselves and then I uh, was also working there with, for them and then so I ended up doing my things. What's your name again? My name is Atwell. Where are you from at all? Thank you. I'm from Zimbabwe. Okay. And the cops they don't give you a whole time yet? No, the corner, not they, yet. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> There's some place where they say we don't want people here, you are not allowed there. So yeah. we, since I, I've come here, no one will come and say no. That's top, typical South African food. Oh, that's the spinach. And this pot? Papa. Papa, okay, and how much are those? That's the 15 rands and this? Ah, you're not selling that. You are selling once again the papa and? Meat. And meat. And all together this is how much? Like meat and papa. Meat and papa in Costa and Chalala, it's the same price. Ah, it's the same price, 15? 
yeah. runs. Papa and steak. Papa and steak, 15 runs. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's mainly borevost and chicken you're cooking. Borevost and chicken, yes. Okay. And how many uh, people are coming every day? A lot. A lot? Like how many? <laughs> it's too much. Man. Too much? So you're making a good business. <laughs> <laughs> They're making. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm just recording the local kitchen in South Africa, yeah. Tell me, how is life in South Africa? I like it okay in South Africa. Is it okay? Yeah. Because we're on this side. Yeah, we're going to go and see how it's going to be. But okay. this is South Africa, man, you know. Yeah. Life is good. It's easy. And do you often pull over to buy some local uh, food? I eat here. You eat here every day? Yeah, I eat here every day. And what's your favorite thing to eat? I eat chicken. Chicken. chicken a lot. And is it like popular to have stands with the uh, yeah. kitchen here in Africa? Yeah, a lot of kitchen movers around here. Yeah, if you can go around, you will see the complex. Yeah. Kind of complexes outside. A lot of kitchen movers. But they are selling different food or yeah, different, different? Different kind of food, whatever you want. Some are selling liver. Okay, like a chicken liver or yeah, like a chicken liver? Fried. A fried liver. Very nice. You should try it. Okay. What would be your favorite one? Like among all, not here even. I like, I like pani chow. Pani chow. Yeah, pani chow. And what's that? It's like, it's like half a loaf of chips and cheese and whatever. Okay. Yeah, and you sell it just down the road and you see this one kitchen. So you have just this thingy. So that's all you use for. Uh, for the, yes, for the test, yes. Do you have many customers every day or? Uh, sometimes. Okay, okay sometimes. Yes. Not every day. Not, day, not every day. And how is the business these days? Yeah, this day is very quiet. Very quiet. And for how long are you here on this intersection? <laughs> 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. In South Africa, there are no self-service petrol stations. At each one, there is a petrol attendant that fills up the tank for you. Good day, Hi. You? In Europe, everyone just fills up himself, and here, like every petrol station, has the petrol attendant, which is like very nice because it's much more clean for the customers then, right? And do you enjoy working here? Yeah, I love it. And how long? Uh, it's four years. Four years, okay. And so, how much is it to fill up? Four. 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 Yeah. yeah. I think it's around 800. 800. 800, wow. <laughs> the petrol has gone up. It's going down. It's going down now? Yeah. Okay. So, how much per liter? Uh, 25 is 21 47. Another thing that came as a surprise to me is the fact that you cannot buy alcohol in supermarkets. Uh, if there is any, that will be like this small wine compartment. But if you are going for hard alcohol, then you have to go to the specialized uh, bottle store, which is separate usually. And moreover, you can they do not sell alcohol here on Sundays at all. Separate to the general supermarket, right there, there is a specialized liquor shop where you can buy your alcohol. 
You see all the cashiers here. They are all black people working. Hard working people. Hi, how are you? You want to check us? Superstore? Yes, Nice to meet you. Nice. Hello, guys. Hi. <laughs> They're all your friends. Is it a party tonight? <laughs> Where can we join the party? When are we doing the party, guys? You have to say the date first. Okay. Like a bag. Wherever I have been, there was only black stuff at the petrol station, at the parkings, at the police station, at the shops, as street vendors, as nurses and so on. So one day I asked myself if there is any white people working in this whole country. Place that I've seen uh, white people working in, you know. <laughs> That's a big thing. So it's a cylinder. Unfortunately, not everyone is so resourceful. Some individuals resort to crime. Poverty and lack of education often implies desperation and criminal activities. Hijacking and robbery is not a seldom occurrence on the streets even in a bright day. So something's going on there. Yep. I don't know, they are robbing car, what was yeah, it? Yeah, they were robbing, robbing this car. They were robbing this car. Yeah. Oh shit. To tell you the truth, I don't know what has exactly happened. By the time we got to the intersection with intention to chase the suspects, they had already disappeared into thin air. No, they're on the other side of the road. Where, where are they? Where are they? No, they're not here. Let's have a ride for a moment without the music through Honeydew District so we can grasp better the vibe of this interesting place. In the next video, I will take you on a ride to Sueto, a city developed as a township for black people under the apartheid system. With a population of over 2 million, it is the biggest black urban settlement in Africa, with a very rich political history. Walk with me to the next one. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a night on the town? You know I'm counting on you, Lord. Please don't let me down.